Yeah. I wasn't even going to um, put any recruiting stuff in this video. I was just going to do a regular season recap, but I saw Jay Mom. I was like, please be Joe Mama. Please be Joe Mama. We got the next best thing. This dude's name is fucking John Mama. And you know when they put that name in the database, you know EA wanted a Joe Mama. Because there's, there's got to be at least one idiot there with a, a sense of humor as dumb as mine that wants that. But John Mama, literally never seen anybody in real life last name Mama, and, and, and but he's a uh, that's in the database. That is good to know. Good to know. Uh, but I've seen some hilarious names people have gotten. Anyways, uh, this video is not about that. This video is about a recap. Let's just answer this as Sim to next week, and then we'll do the uh, recap. I don't know if I know who we're playing in the SEC title game. I keep uh, instinctively wanting to reach over for my cup of coffee. But I'm going to bed after this. It's like 9.30. I'm going to call it a night. John McCarry, welcome to the uh, Tennessee Volunteers. Okay. Hi, Texas Tech. And I made a video um, a couple days ago, a few weeks ago in game uh, time, saying that I wanted them bad, and looks like we're getting them. I'm pretty damn hyped for that. Not gonna lie. Very hyped. Not pretty hyped, but very hyped. That's the team I wanted. I was expecting like Oklahoma or Auburn or a team like that. This is the the uh the uh outcome I wanted. Okay, I just screw recruiting. Let's just look at where we rank and then we'll do that recap. Number 19. That's the, uh, I've, I've had an unfortunate recruiting class before I left uh, Memphis. And they squandered it. But, um, yeah, I, this is the highest I've had in Tennessee, and we're only going to get better. we got a lot of guys that are still uh, yet to sign. Okay, so uh, the video after this will be a, uh, a scouting video for Texas Tech. But, uh, wait, Texas Tech playing UCLA? What? What is that? Okay, whatever. Uh... I haven't forgot the recap. We're gonna leave that for last. So we're number seven in the all the rankings. Are we still a one seed? I mean, we have to be, right? Okay, we're still a one seed. Get that bye week. Okay, that is huge. Um, beating Texas Tech is gonna be huge. All right, now the uh, recap officially begins. So my QB uh, was on the uh, leaderboard last week, was number five. It's, wow, it's all QBs. It was number five. He throws five TDs in the first half, and, and he drops off the leaderboard. That's great. Let's look at some award watch lists. Coach Kush, number six on uh, Coach of the Year. Sure. Oh, yeah, how about that? Number 15, Trevor Ned, the Lipscomb coach, is, uh, is uh, number one. And he's 11 and 1, just like I am. I I'm happy for that, for that guy. I want Lipscomb to succeed. I feel like our QB show should be on this. Jesus. Clarence Silver is a monster. Dude had, had a lot of interceptions. I wish they could show some stats here. Mello, yeah, I mean, Mello was never able to play because of the wear and tear. Golden, what? How can he be on golden arm but not on the top QBs? Oh, that's senior QB of the year. Okay. But still, he should be on it. We are getting screwed. Well, like, best tight end trades has to win that. But, man, we don't have any... Uh, we have hardly any awards. Mike White and Wooden are always on this. When are they going to get uh, head coaching jobs? Hales. Stamer. I was seeing now on the interior alignment. Tim Keene. I call the best kicker, kicker in the nation. I still believe that. All right, let's get to the, the cool, the fun stuff. Stats, where everybody's here for. 
all one of you. All right. Here's Derek Durham's. We still don't have a 3,000 yard pass, but we will after the uh, probably after the title game, certainly after the playoffs. If we make the play, we, we're going to make the play. What am I saying? If uh, 2018 is a new high, that's pretty crazy for me. I, I, I never go that means TDs. That's almost two a game. That's over two a game. Wow. 233 yards a game is a new record for me. 73% completion is a new record for me on this game. 32 sacks is crazy. Uh, sacks are way down. He got sacked like 60 times last year. Mello, I, I don't understand. This dude was never able to play because of wear and tear, but he still had a great year. And Durham is just like a running back, too. He had almost as many carries as the backup running back. That's why I think Durham should have been on the highest been running. Like, not many passing yards, I know. But I think he's still one of the best quarterbacks in the nation with numbers like that. And uh, these rushing numbers, I think he should have been there. Like, this feels like like a, like a quarterback, like a great year from, like, 2006, if that makes sense. Like, this would have been the highest for winner back then. But it's not 2006. All right, uh, I wish it was. Bradley Triggs, like I said, this guy had to win tight end of the year. I mean, look at these numbers. And I said, you give me this guy for four years, he's going to win a Heisman. A tight end win the Heisman. You heard that right. I hope he comes back. But the NFL's got to be calling. Agents got to be clamoring to knock that guy's door down and sign him up. Like, look at the way we spread the ball around this year. That's just beautiful to look at. Everybody got in on the action. Like, why even show these guys with zero? Because they had targets? What is this? It doesn't even show, it doesn't even show targets. Like, why, why even show these guys down here? Anyways, of course, the right tackle left tackle got the most sacks. Um, McNass, dude, sacks or what? What happened to this guy? He played all the games and uh, he had uh, 19 and a half sacks last year. He had six this year. That's a shocking decline. Sacks are way down in general for us. Yeah, that's who told me what I was talking about earlier. Had all those interceptions. Six interceptions. Monster. Tim Keen, baby. 24. Two of those misses were in one game. I remember all my misses. They haunt me. All right, that's the stats. Do we have any returners? Nope. All right. We, we, one day we'll have a return TD. But, uh, yeah, I love it. I just love looking. These are some beautiful fucking QB numbers. For me, I'd never put up any numbers like this. Let's look at his career. Yeah, that's what I want. Wait, that's not what I want. I wanted like individual years. Yeah, like this is like a, a typical year. Like what we did this year is a huge step up. The ratings up twenty six points. Yards are up, like, without the playoff and all that. You got to keep in mind, this was 17 games. This was 16 games. And I got sacked 60, 60 times in the uh, first year, is what I was thinking of. 56 sacks. Jesus Christ. But, yeah, everything's up, way up. Like, this, she's really 143 yards a game. I had him handcuffed, pretty much. I, I, I was going to cut him loose this year in the senior year, and we did. But look at all those rushing yards last year. That was crazy. Jesus. He's like a running back. Look at that. How many yards? 8.3 and an attempt. But yeah. All right, guys. That's the recap for year number three with Tennessee, six in Coach Cush's career. I'm still uh, hungry as ever. Love it as much as ever. Yeah, man, we uh, the SEC is real is close. We dominated this year. And look, man, Texas Tech went seven in a row. Wow, I can't believe how good they are. All 
unbelievable. They just refuse to lose. And uh, we're on a collision course with them. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Next uh, video tomorrow will be a Texas Tech scouting preview. All right. Thanks for watching. God bless. Take care.